Okay, good. And if I consider the heat capacity, heat capacity as a definition, guys, it's mass times the specific heat capacity. Specific heat what? Capacity. We discussed, guys, also um, this part, which is about um, an energy or calculation um, of energy if there is a temperature change. If there is a temperature change, M mass, C specific heat capacity, delta T is the change in temperature. We did several questions about that. The second important part, guys, of this section that you'll be asked about, um, uh, you will be asked to set up an experiment to measure specific heat capacity. In the previous guys, uh, in the previous time, um, we discussed how to use the electrical, the electrical, what, uh, electrical uh, method. Electrical method, guys. Here I have to use uh, heater, the heater, uh, or uh, heater with known power with known power, or I can measure the power. I have to place the heater inside aluminum block like this. And also I have to use what thermometer and stopwatch. Right, thermometer and uh, stopwatch. Here, uh, I have to use this concept, guys. Okay, and the energy supplied by the heater is equivalent to the energy gained by aluminum. Energy supplied by the heater will be power times time. When energy gained by aluminum is mt delta t. Now, uh, the aim of this experiment, guys, is to find the specific heat capacity. So, specific heat capacity C equals T over M delta T. So I have to measure these quantities. Power by measuring voltage and current, electrical power. Time using stopwatch balance to measure the uh, mass of aluminum block. Initial and final temperatures, guys, using a thermometer. Here we discuss the procedure that will be done. Or that would be uh, done here. Now, the other method that would be also used to measure the specific heat capacity if there is no uh, electrical heater is available. And if I don't have an electrical heater, I can use the mixture method. Mixture method, guys, depends on that we have uh, two materials, one with known specific heat capacity, the other is not ash or does not uh, or we did not know that the specific heat capacity of the other material regularly guys we will use the water because the water is the most common liquid and uh, it's the specific heat capacity uh, is known here guys uh, i want to measure the specific heat capacity of the metal block here i want to measure the specific heat capacity for a metal what block like this. What I have to do, guys, I have to bring two cups. One uh, has uh, cold water placed inside an insulated material or insulation. Uh, I have to place thermometer in this cup, terror to distribute the heat um, evenly in the liquid. Before uh, uh, and other, sorry, sorry, and other uh, uh, beaker that has boiling water. I place this metal block in the boiling water. I wait around two or two, three minutes until I check that the metal and the water has the same, have the same temperature, which is 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling water. Then quickly, guys, I have to move or, um, this metal block to this cold water. So what, what we have to do, uh, what are the measurements that I have to take? First of all, I have to measure the mass of water, of cold water, right? The mass of the cold water, the mass of the metal, the final temperature of 
the mixture. يعني I have to place this hot metal block in the water. I have to wait around two to three minutes until uh, they reach thermal equilibrium. Again, guys, I have to place the metal in the water until the water and the metal reach the thermal equilibrium. This thermal equilibrium means that they both have the same temperature. And I have to measure the initial temperature of what? Of cold water. Of what? Cold water. Here, guys, basically, heat will transfer. They consider the metal is hot. Right? The metal, sorry, is hot. So the heat is transferred from metal where? To liquid. From metal to liquid. Accordingly, I, I will use this. Pay attention to this. The energy gained by the water equivalent to the energy supplied by the metal because the metal is hotter than the water in the cup. What, what is the formula that will be used for the energy here? It's MC delta T because in both metals and uh, in metal, sorry, in metal and water, the temperature or the temperature of metal and water is, uh, have been changed. So I have to use this concept. E equals mc delta t. This guys, this equation used if there's a temperature change. If there's a temperature changed. Here guys, we have temperature uh, changed for the metal or temperature changed for the water. So mc delta t for water or mc delta t for metal. Uh, here everything, the mass of water is measured. Here the mass of water is measured before. Specific heat capacity is known. Change in temperature is measured also. Mass of the metal is measured. Change in temperature for the mixture is measured. measured. Finally, I can find the specific heat capacity. Keep equal. heat loss. Definitely. This is an ideal case. Yes, this is what an ideal case. Ideally, guys, we can consider, uh, we can assume that uh, the energies uh, gained and supplied are the same. But you are right. You know, keep there. There is amount of energy that will be lost to surrounding. Let's do a question about this. Uh, state what is meant by specific heat capacity. Uh, specific heat capacity, guys, the amount of energy needed. Again. to rise the temperature of one kilogram of, of the matter by one degree Celsius. Water has a very high specific heat capacity, so just why this might be disadvantage when using the water for cooking. It takes time, guys. It takes more time to reach certain temperature or to be heated. Okay, to be heated, it takes as uh, more time. Oh, it takes as more time to be heated. And this is the advantage for water to be used in a cooling or heating system that the water has, uh, or the water, let's say, has higher capacity for heat or for storing heat, if I can say that, roughly speaking. Uh, but the, the disadvantage, you know, it takes time to, to fill this water with heat, right? Now let's consider this, uh, like what we explained before. Uh, here we have an experiment to measure the specific heat capacity of some metal. The piece is heated in uh, boiling water. So the temperature now of the metal the initial temperature for the metal is 100 degrees Celsius, right? The initial temperature of the metal is 100 degrees Celsius.
uh, until it has reached the temperature of the water. It's, uh, it's then transferred rapidly. This is a very important precaution here because we have to reduce the amount of heat transferred during this uh, uh, movement as much as we can. Some the, uh, to some water in a well insulated cup, a very sensitive thermometer is used to measure the initial and final temperature of the water. And this is actually um, after placing the metal in the water, it becomes a, a mixture, right? This is for a for mixture. We are given these values, these data. We are asked to the rise uh, uh, in temperature for water. So, guys, this is thermal equilibrium. This temperature, guys, when there is a thermal equilibrium between metal and water, when there is a thermal equilibrium between ash, metal and water. Thermal equilibrium means that in the temperature, the final temperature for metal is 22.9 degrees Celsius. The well, final temperature for water is also 22. Clear? And then, if addition temperature rise in water, the water before was 21.1, right? The initial temperature before for the water 21.1 after placing the metal it becomes 22.9 so the difference is 1.7 a temperature fall of the metal the metal has 100 degrees Celsius before after it becomes what 22.9 becomes I think 78.1 which is a hex uh, 77.1. Uh, 77.1. Any question, guys? Uh, no, no. Right. And calculate the thermal energy gained by the water in the cup. State the equation that will be used. E equals M. C delta T. I use this equation again, guys, because here there is a change in what? Temperature. E equals the mass of water is... Uh, 0.5. Oh, uh, point point two. 0.2. Uh, specific heat capacity for water is 4,200. The temperature change for water, 1.8. Uh, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I gained by the water is equivalent to the thermal energy supplied by, by the metal. Yani I can, even that is given here, Talao. Assume that the only water gains thermal energy from the piece of metal, right? So here, energy supplied by metal equals the energy gained by the water. Here also I will use MT delta T because here there is a, a temperature change for the metal. M C delta T equivalent to 1,512. This is for the metal. The mass for the metal, 0.5. Now we are asked to measure the specific heat capacity. Temperature change, 77.1 equals 1,512. Okay, guys, and I substituted just the numbers here. This is the mass of the metal. I will fix this now. This is the temperature change for the metal. And the metal was 100 degrees Celsius then. After it's placed in the water, it becomes 22.9. Mass, sorry, 0 0.015 times ash. Dave, class C. 800. 
keep playing this. Uh, a bit last three three hundred ninety two. Three hundred ninety two. Reason why the experimental value may not have given a correct value for the specific heat capacity. Here, guys, before answering this question, I want to discuss with you this point. During the measuring specific heat capacity, we use this. Ideally, the energy supplied by the heater is equivalent, let's say, heater or whatever, is equivalent to the energy as gained by the matter okay guys here this is an ideal case in the actual case in the energy supplied by the heater is equivalent to energy gained plus energy that is being lost to surroundings, right? that is being transferred where? The surroundings. Here, guys, if I compare this one, if I compare the specific heat capacity that um, that we found from the ideal case with the actual one, the specific heat capacity that can be found from the ideal case is greater than the heat experimental. I will find it that it's greater than what? The actual. Yeah, the known one. If I consider this, Energy gained equals energy supplied minus the energy lost. صح يعني the energy gained راح تكون less than the one that is measured. Is that clear? Yes, Mister. So basically here, guys, in the, in the past paper, it might be written like this, and there's an energy is being lost to the high. But then I prefer to write like this. There is an energy or thermal energy that, um, if actually there's an amount of thermal energy. that is transferred to surroundings. Okay. We explained that the previous time. Okay. 
let's talk now about um, the change, the change of state and latent heat. Guys, the word latent heat or latent in general, it's the amount of energy that is is being used for this matter to change its state, to change its state, either by supplying heat or uh, removing heat from the system. And here we have uh, four main changes, right? Fusion, freezing, vaporization, condensation, or melting. Sorry, uh, fusion or melting here. Okay. I think you are familiar with that. Fusion change from solid to liquid. Freezing changes from liquid to solid. Vaporization from liquid into vapor. Condensation from vapor to a liquid. And uh, during any change in state, guys, as we, what we will see here in this chart, the temperature of the substance remains constant. Remains what? constant here if I consider this this is a temperature versus time here guys hello from A to B look here from A to B this is increasing in temperature I need to say let's just yeah, need, um, consider um, ice and the first of all you have to heat the ice until it re uh, until uh, it reaches the temperature of melting or melting temperature or melting point. Here, guys, I call, during the melting uh, process, the temperature stays the same. So, and here we will see mixture of liquid and Right, and in, in, in this or uh, during this period, we have a mixture of liquid and solid. After the liquid uh, or after the solid uh, becoming or is becoming uh, liquid, if we continue heating this liquid, right? If I continue heating this liquid, the liquid may reach a boiling point. This is ash melting point, right? And uh, during the boiling process, guys, during the boiling process, as as what you see here, the temperature does not change. The temperature does not change. We discussed that, guys, before. And here uh, we have liquid and uh, gas, right? Liquid and what? Gas and this. Phase change. And as what we mentioned before, guys, you know, during the boiling process uh, or during even at the melting process, the temperature does not change because all the heat supplied, right, is used uh, um, the whole amount of heat supplied is used to break the bonds or to weaken the bonds or to weaken one of the bonds to convert the matter from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas. After discussing that, guys, let's define latent heat with specific latent heat. Okay, latent heat and what? Specific latent heat. As what I told you before, latent heat, guys, amount of energy uh, needed to change uh, the state of the matter from uh, State to another state. First of all, we have a latent heat of fusion. This latent heat of fusion, guys, is the heat involved when the substance changes from solid to liquid. And a specific latent heat, we have to consider one kilogram. Okay, to change one kilogram uh, of the matter from solid to liquid at its melting point. Similar thing, the latent heat of vaporization. We have specific latent heat of vaporization. Okay, this is amount of heat that would be used to change one kilogram of the matter. 
the formula that will be used or uh, the to calculate the energy during any change in state. الـ E الـ energy or the heat supplied أو حتى removed guys supplied or removed M is the mass in kilograms of the substance that have been changed or that has been changed changing its state this is a very important thing I mean it I may not consider the whole mass of the ice or water or whatever I have to consider only the amount of mass that uh, is changed from this uh, from state to another state and see it's the specific heat or specific latent heat of vaporization or fusion depends on uh, what is the process so my unit joules per kilogram here guys we did not consider the temperature because during the melting process or boiling process there is no change in temperature And here we are given, and you can find this in your book, that we are given a uh, specific latent heat capacity, uh, sorry, specific latent heat for various substances, or and specific latent heat like uh, specific heat capacity depends on the matter. What is meant by the specific latent heat of a fusion for water is 3.4 times 10 to the power 5 joules per kilogram. Uh, this means, guys, that the amount of energy needed to change the state of uh, ice from liquid to solid, uh, sorry, from solid to liquid. amount in one kilogram? Yes, yes. I want to continue. Solid to liquid. Uh, uh, yes, one, one kilogram. Change the state. Of one kilogram of ice from solid to liquid is 3.4 times 10 to the power 5 joules. Right, this is the amount of energy. Yani, guys, if we have one kilogram of ice, I want to uh, convert it to liquid. I need 3.4 times 10 to the power 5 joules. Explain why the latent heat of vaporization is greater than the latent heat of fusion. What do you think, guys? The latent heat of vaporization is greater than the latent heat of fusion. Who has an idea, guys, here? It needs more energy. Why? Why? Uh, why this process? Uh, uh, why does the uh, vaporization process need more energy? Do you know why? Because it's uh, yes, Sarah. Uh, to boil or condense, um, a fusion of energy is like to melt or freeze. Why, why does the, uh, why is this amount of energy 
larger than that the um, uh, that amount of energy so like the no particles in the hood can't move and if you then you are very close here guys will answer in in, in fusion or in melting process for heat is used to weaken the bond not to break the bond you got my point and from solid to liquid uh, uh, the main the main thing that will take place here, you know, the bonds will be weakened, but not broken. You got my point. But from liquid to gas, this energy is needed to break the bonds because you know that ideally the gas, the gas state or gaseous state, uh, or the molecules in the gaseous state ish, uh, have no bonds between them, so. Guys, any question about this point? The energy. Is needed. Uh, sorry, yes, for. Uh, weaken the point uh, for weaken the bond. During the uh, fusion, but and vaporization this energy is used to break down bond. Okay, guys, any question? Here, a direct substitution question. Uh, heated electrical kettle delivers 1.5 kilowatts of power to 2 kilograms of water at its boiling point. The specific latent heat of vaporization of water is 2.26 times 10 to the power 6 uh, joules per kilogram. How much energy would be needed to boil? One kilogram, uh, one kilogram, and yani energy needed, ml, in mass one kilogram, so, the specific latent heat, so it's 2.26 times 10 to the power 6 joules, this is the energy needed to boil one kilogram. Now, the kettle is switched on for 100 seconds, how much heat energy is delivered to the water? Here, guys, uh, this is two, sorry, this is three. Uh, how much energy is delivered to the water? Uh, okay, and that energy, guys, is supplied to the water. Uh, um, or it's supplied to the water using heater. And you know, to find this energy, you have to multiply power times time. The power here is 1.5 kilowatts. Kilo, right? This is why I multiplied by 1,000, because I have to convert kilo to uh, times 100. This becomes... Uh, 150,000. Yeah. Yes, 150,000 joules. And you guys, the energy supplied by the heater for 100 seconds, for 100 seconds, uh, is uh, 150,000 joules. And how much steam is produced? Here, guys, again, the energy supplied by the heater ideally is equivalent to the energy gained by the water. This amount of energy is 1,500, uh, sorry, 150,000. The energy gained by the water is uh, ML. Now we are asked about M, guys. Here, this question asks us about uh, the mass or how much steam is produced. This means that the amount of mass that would be converted from liquid to solid, liquid to solid. 
150,000 equals the mass that we are asked to find. Um, this fixed latency 2.26 times 10 to the power 6. These guys, if you have any question, uh, please ask me, or if there is any uh, anything is not understood, uh, please slow me down. Depth line mass. يلا حد يحسب لي اياها زين احسبيها بن اجبر الكالكليتر تبعي اهي انا راح احسبها بتطلع بوينت او now last thing uh, that we have to know here uh, which is, oh, you also you might be asked about it to construct or to set up an experiment to measure the specific latent heat, either for a fusion or for vaporization. This is for a fusion. This is the setup, guys, that we have to construct. This is the electrical circuit that you have also to draw in order to show you, to show the examiner. Uh, what you have to do, or what will you do? Here, guys, this method here, I brought here crushed ice. I place same amount of crushed ice in, in two funnels. I will explain this for you why. Two funnels like this. I place in these two funnels, or um, I placed, uh, sorry, immersion heater and this crushed ice. Below the funnels, right, I have a uh, use a beaker to collect water. This is the electrical circuit that we will use. And guys, you might be asked to set up an experiment to measure the specific latent heat, right? Showing that the electrical circuit that will that will be used. And you have to show that. And when I used heater, across the heater, I connected voltmeter and ammeter to measure the power. And you know that because the power is I times V, so I have to measure I using the ammeter or V using S the voltmeter. Here, guys, I will use the same concept. E supplied by the heater, ideally equivalent to the heat S gained by the ice. Here it's a power times time. Here it's ML because here we are measuring the specific latent heat of the fusion. Guys, what are uh, the readings that must be taken here? Should I have a reading or in order to find or in order to measure the specific latent heat? For a high formula, can you tell us what? What are the quantities that will be measured in order to find specific latent heat of fusion? From the formula, guys, just look to the formula. Farah, are you with us? Repeat the question, please. According to this formula, what are the measurements that must be taken here in order to measure the specific latent heat of a fusion? The mass. Mass, excellent. By a balance, oh, um, high T times of time, yeah. okay. In the stopwatch, we can, yeah, exactly. Um, power, oh, power, okay, power using S this formula. I it's measured using current, uh, using I, ammeter. Okay. yes, oh, uh, voltage using what. 
volt meter. طبعا what is the mass that will be measured guys here pay attention the collected mass. Okay, the collected mass. Now my question is guys, why I have here to make these two setups? One with a power supply and the other without a power supply. Who has an idea? Here, guys, I have two setups, identical setup. But one, I will connect it to the power supply. I will connect the heater to the power supply. The second one, I will, I did not, or I will not connect the heater to the power supply. Why have we to have? We, uh, uh, why we have to do this? Think about it, guys. It's a critical stuff. To measure the heat loss. And here, guys, look to this analogy here. Here, guys, we have heat transfer to the ice because ice would be at zero temperature or at zero degrees uh, temperature, at the, uh, zero degrees Celsius. So here there is a heat transferred uh, to the ice from two sources. Uh, first of all, here from the heater, this is the heat transfer, and we have heat transfer from surrounding. Why? Because, guys, the temperature of surrounding here, in this case, not like the previous case, unlike the previous case, in this case, guys, the heat of the surrounding is larger than the heat of the crushed ice. So there, uh, in this funnel, guys, here we have an energy gain Why the ice is equivalent to the energy uh, supplied from the heater and energy supplied from surrounding. In order to reduce this amount of, uh, uh, oh, 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 let me explain it in another words, guys. First of all, I can't measure, I can't measure, sorry, the heat supplied from surrounding. No way to measure it. Okay. Uh, here, this amount of heat supplied by the surrounding will cause an error uh, in, in my measurement for the specific latent heat. In this setup, guys, this is a controlled setup. In this setup, guys, here we have heat transferred from surrounding only. Accordingly, guys, here this is the amount of water that will be uh, that will be melt uh, relative to the heat uh, gained from surrounding. Here, this is amount of heat that um, uh, amount of water that will be melt uh, uh, as a result of heat gained from heater and surrounding. So finally, what I have to do here, Kinan. I have to subtract this amount of water, okay? And when I measure the mass, I have to measure, as, oh, I have to subtract this amount of water from this amount of water. Any question, guys? Uh, let's answer this question quickly. I'll stop here. Uh, next time, but just we will um, we'll do past paper questions about this topic. And uh, at this point, I you know, next time, shall or next class, I will finish this topic. Here, place two immersion heaters in the funnel, and pack uh, and pack the crushed ice around them. Why, guys, uh, shall I use crushed ice? 
not to block عشان نقدر نحكي على السيرفس اريا يس انه هيك بصير في عندنا مور سيرفس اريا اوف اي ان 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 كونتاكت مع مين مع الهيتر فيرست اوف اول مور سيرفس اريا اوف اي ذات از ان كونتاكت with the uh, heater where another reason guys this will reduce reduce the air gap the air gaps between uh, the ice so the heat is transferred faster okay type the element of the heater should be positioned towards the end of the metal barrel check that this is a good contact with ice connect the heater to the power supply don't turn it on record the mass of the two beakers and place them under the funnel wait listen to this guys this is uh, uh, pay attention to this point sorry wait until both funnels are uniformly dripping water Why shall I wait like this before, before starting, before switching on the power supply? Because I have to check that the whole ice, at this, at this moment, guys, the whole ice reached the, the, uh, reached the uh, melting point. Initially, we will have a melting, but when will the melting? In the regions that are uh, near to the uh, heater. Okay. So Okay. Then turn on at this moment turn on the power supply at the same time start ish the stop clock. Record the current and potential difference of the supply. Ensure that the ice is kept Topped up and in good contact with the two heaters. The ideal duration of this experiment around any might be five minutes. Could be. Uh, يعني you will not be asked about this specifically. يعني خلاص for a certain time. That's it. Turn off the power and stop the clock. Don't move the beaker. After another minute or so, something like this. Remove the beakers and measure the mass of them again. The analysis, guys, we have to calculate the energy gained or the energy supplied, sorry, by the heater using as voltage current times time. Calculate the mass of water as uh, deposited in each beaker. Subtract the weight, uh, sorry, not weight, mass uh, of water in the control beaker. From the experimental beaker, the change in mass is equal to the mass of ice melted due ash uh, during this process. Divide the energy. So, and here, hala, as what we mentioned before, uh, we wrote this before. Hatta خلاص ما need to write it again. The uh, specific latent heat had to be I V T over delta M. Right, I V T over what? Delta M. Um, do you have any class now, guys? Uh, no. But I'll only, يعني two minutes. I will finish this. But عشان أخلص ال ال specific latent heat for um of vaporization. And Khalil past papers for next time. Okay, guys. Uh, here we have a um, container. Uh, sorry, here. It's an easy stuff, guys. I have to place uh, a boiling water and electrical heat uh, uh, on a balance. 
OK, I have to ensure that first of all, the, the water is boiling because guys, we are measuring specific heat capacity. Uh, sorry, specific latent heat for vaporization. So boiling process, we have to ensure that boiling process is taking place. Uh, then I have to measure the initial mass here. Before switching on the heater. Then I will switch on the heater for specific time, two, three, five, four minutes, whatever. Then I will switch it off. Then I will record the new mass. But the difference between these uh, two values of mass will show me the amount of water that um, is converted from liquid to vapor. Converted from liquid to vapor. OK. And here again, guys, energy supplied equals energy gained by water or boiling water. Here IVT, right? Here equivalent to change in mass times L. Why discuss that? Why we have to record the change in mass? Well, and uh, here I have to record. Uh, I have to set up uh, the uh, electrical circuit like this. I have to show this for the examiner if we are asked about it. Voltmeter to measure the current. Uh, sorry, uh, ammeter to measure the current. Voltmeter to measure what. The voltage and also we have to use what stopwatch to measure the time then record the mass before switching on the heater and record the mass after switching off the heater after recording all these values i can find the specific latent heat of fusion for the water okay guys so man, everything here uh, is mentioned here here there are several uh, questions that we will answer it next time Okay, bye. Uh, before leaving, guys, follow me. Shan had a lahikun record in Kutitibu Ali. Ahna, Allah, Ahna, Bil Madras, Ashan Shufu, and no, now we covered the crib and everything. In the school, guys, we covered electricity from A to Z, magnetism from A to Z, radioactivity from A to Z, waves from A to Z, the thermal physics from A to Z. يعني التوبيك الوحيد اللي وي ميك افرت كمان ما عندي مشكله اللي هو البارت الاول تاع الجنرال فيزكس تمام فاحنا وي يعني تقريبا وي كفرد هلا ان ذيس يير ان جريت 10 وي كفرد مور ذان ايش حتى 70% اوف ذا اوف ذا ماتيريال طبعا هلا انا بعرف انه مش الكل حضر الثيرمال بس كل الفيديوز موجودين على المايكروسوفت تيم بيقدروا يحضروا لانه Everything is uh, explained in detail. يعني خليناش إشي إلا وحكينا فيه وحلينا تقريبا most of the past paper questions in the book. Okay. With waves as well, طبعا. هتلاقوا كمان كل الفيديوز بتاعة ال waves موجودة. الله يعطيكم العافية. Again, guys, if anything برضو I am ready. Thank you, sir. Thank you.